What's up guys, welcome to the second video of LearnDataSizeSkill.com My name is Marcus So in the last video, I show you how you can set up your IDE uh, with using supply text and uh, also I show you how to write your first code in Python and we also go through how we can solve the problem of uh, Python is not recognized as uh, internet or, or external command so in this video I'm going to show you how you can plot the candlestick chart with using a package that I will introduce to you later so this is the, the candlestick chart that you can expect at the end of the lesson in which uh, we can actually zoom in to see the candlestick of uh, each day and uh, we can actually pull the data from Yahoo Finance and then we create a candlestick chart like this and then we can see the volume of uh, each day uh, to help on your technical analysis and we can also put additional indicators like moving averages of a different um, so example 20, 50 or 150 moving averages and we can also put additional plot like uh, adjusted, adjusted close uh, on the candlestick charts so we can also add our title we can also put in our uh, y-axis label uh, we can zoom in further and then we can zoom out and we can define uh, the time frame uh, in which we want the data I will also show you whether uh, I will also show you how you can change the daily chart to a weekly chart in case you want to um, um, do your analysis in a different time frame so uh, yeah uh, without further ado let's look at uh, what we need in order to uh, guess the, these charts so the first thing is you have to make sure that you already install pandas because we are going to use pandas to read our data frame and uh, you just need to go to your command prompt and then pip install pandas I've already did that so I don't have to do it again but if you have you have if you haven't done that before just just do it okay so we also need to uh, install the pandas data reader so that we can read the data from Yahoo Finance and same you you just need to go to command prompt and uh, pip install pandas data reader and uh, and also we will need to use the MPO finance package in order to plot uh, the chart that I have shown you just now so if you haven't uh, done that uh, just go ahead and pip install MPO finance so that we can uh, use the, this chart later on so I will close this I will also uh, close this and uh, let's go to uh, supply text to write our first code the first thing that we have to do is to make sure that we have import all the library that we need and uh, in this case we will have to of course uh, first import uh, so for first let import the pandas as pd and then the come on uh, from pandas data reader we will import data okay come on uh, and then uh, we're going to import mpl finance as mpf okay so uh, if you run this you will see uh, nothing uh, because all this code are just going to import the library that we need to use so um, for now we can define a function uh, let's call it uh, graph data and then our argument will be a stock that we want to check uh, is uh, that we want to plot is a uh, chart so in this function um, yeah we can call this function with uh, graph data and then we can define okay let's say we want to see the price of Facebook then we can pass the argument of uh, Facebook into this function and then we can inside the function just define what we want to do let's say we just print stock and go ahead and run this so you can see that the FB is printed out here because our function is defined to do 
printing of the uh, the stock which is the argument in this function but uh, okay since like, the function is working well so moving next uh, in order to input the data we have to um, define df equal to uh, data dot data reader stock and then we are going to import it from Yahoo Finance and we probably want to define a start date of uh, um, when we want to uh, from which date onwards we want to have this data so let's define as probably um, 1st of 2017 and then the, in fact you can actually also defect end it uh for example first of january of 2019 uh so the data that you will capture it will be between uh, 2017 and 2019 uh, first of january but uh, if you leave this uh, empty i mean if you don't define the end here uh it will just capture the data based on the latest uh from the start date to the latest date uh, where the data is available from Yahoo Finance so uh, cool so let's go ahead and uh, let's see what kind of data that we have uh, managed to receive from Yahoo Finance so you can see that uh, we managed to capture the data uh, the first line is the 3rd of January uh, probably 1st and 2nd of January are a weekend or public holiday that's why the first day of uh, 2017 in which data is available is 3rd of January and you can see that we have high low uh, then we have uh, also the open close of course and we also, we also have the volume data and also the adjusted, adjusted close so in fact if we want to show all the columns uh, we can also say pd dot uh, set underscore options display um, dot max underscore columns um, 500 and then let's run it again cool so we can actually see that uh, now we are reading all the columns high low open close volume and also adjusted close and uh, yeah um, probably we can also look at the uh, last few rows of data so you can also see that uh, the last row of data that we have managed to um, capture is the 24th of uh, July uh, which is Friday so we managed to get the latest data from Yahoo Finance which is cool and moving next uh, we can go ahead to plot uh, the candlestick chart uh, in this case we just need to say mpf dot plot sorry typo mpf dot plot and then we just need to print our data frame and then we just need to specify that the type is candle and uh, we put our Y label which is uh, price in USD or US dollar and then our title will be equal to um, well I'm going to put it in the dynamic way in which uh, depends on what kind of uh, stock we are passing in then it will display it, will display, uh, it as a title uh, stock price and then we can also uh, put the volume equal to true so in this case that uh, the, the chart will also show the volume at the bottom uh, all of the of the graph so I think that's all we can go ahead and run this come on come on So it depends on the amount of data that you have. Uh, yeah. So you can see that this is what we get for now, but it doesn't look very really, uh, pretty uh, because we haven't defined the style yet. So uh, let's close this, and th probably we can also define the styles is equal to Yahoo, and then run it again.
Come on, come on. So this is the the chart that we have plotted with using MPL Finance. Uh, with this chart, you can actually zoom in and zoom out. For example, I can zoom in here to look at the uh, smaller time frame in which I can look at each individual candlestick so for the day which the prices are going up uh, I have a green candlestick for the day which uh, prices are going down I have a red candlestick and also f I can see the volume of each day if you put your cursor to uh, the candlestick or the volume bar you can see the information at the bottom right corner which is uh, super cool and uh, you can also go back to the home and then you can also save the figure if you want. I'm to close this and I guess uh, I will stop it here uh, for this video. So in the next part of the video, I will show you how we can add additional indicators to this plot uh, to make it even uh, better for your technical analysis. And uh, if you like my video, feel free to click the like button and subscribe to my channel and uh, i will promise to I'm, i promise to uh, deliver more uh, useful content to you and uh, that's it and see you in the next video